first of all, he's really sorry that he couldn't be here. Um, shortly about COC, we are an LGBTI organization and advocacy organization. Um, we have been founded quite a while ago in 1946, and that makes us the oldest still existing LGBTI organization in the world, uh, which is something we're really proud of. Now, um, Andrew asked me to talk a bit about COC and how we can work together, and I thought it might be good to tell you something a bit about our history. Because when we started out in the 1940s, um, we weren't openly an LGBTI organization. Uh, we called ourselves the Shakespeare Club, and it was uh, a meeting of people who were, you know, fond of Shakespeare. Um, and our first chairman uh, used uh, another name. He didn't use his own name. He used the name Bob Angelo. He never used his own name publicly to fight for LGBTI rights. Um, that all changed later on. In the 60s, we got uh, our second chairman, Benno Kremsla, and he was the first person who was openly gay on Dutch television. And that's when our work and, our, and, and basically the LGBTI movement in the Netherlands also started to change. Um, where it was first still gathering, uh, you know, together, offering support together, we slowly started fighting um, inequality. Uh, for example, legal inequality. Uh, there was a difference between uh, the age of consent for heterosexuals and for gay men. And, you know, the, the LGBTI movement in the Netherlands addressed that issue and got those laws changed. So those, that was basically the first phase in, in, the, in the movement here in the Netherlands. Um, Later on, we, we kind of moved on. We moved on to, you know, the 80s and 90s. Um, of course, there was a lot of attention to HIV/AIDS and and fighting that, um, but also uh, equality and anti-discrimination laws, which were introduced here in 1994. Um, and then in 2001, we had uh, the marriage opened up uh, or the marriage equality. Uh, and, and right now, you see, there's still some some legal issues, like for example, the, the lesbian women can easily should be more easily um, uh, able to recognize their children. Uh, how do I explain this? Like the the woman who's not the biological mother uh, can now more easily recognize her own child, uh, whereas first it was a more complex adoption procedure. Uh, so we're still working on, on you know, legal equality. Um, but right now we're also moving forward with you know, social acceptance and equality. And I don't know if any of you have been uh, at the Pride uh, a couple of weeks ago, but there was, I thought the COC boat, I don't mean to pat ourselves on the back, but it was a lovely example of it because we had a lesbian couple and a gay couple just kissing. Um, which is basically to say, you know, because a lot of people when they see straight couple kiss, they're like, oh, that's cute. And when, whereas when they see gay couple kiss, they're like, oh, well, not in our face. So we try to address those issues right now. And I'm kind of telling you our history a bit, um, because as, um, I have to check here, as Mr. Uh, Sven Peterson noticed, there are a lot of countries where things are still different. Um, but that doesn't mean that things can change. And that's where the part where I go to the, uh, you know, what can we do and how can we work together? Um, you know, we, we have to work together trying to support the people that do fight for change. Uh, be it activists, be it journalists, we need to support the people who are really in their countries and fighting for the change. On the other hand, we all know that sometimes things can get a little too difficult, a little too heated, and you need to leave that country. Um, well, in that case, we need to make sure together, um, both CSC and lawyers and the other part of the group, that people are welcomed here in the Netherlands and that, you know, from day one, they can get um, their acceptance and feel welcome, and hopefully will also get a status. Um, and I believe that you know, group gatherings like this are vitally important. 
um, it, it gets you in touch with other people, you meet like-minded people, and I strongly believe in it. So you see, we strongly believe that this helps everybody, everybody to grow. And as you grow, you can also turn around and then support other people again and support the activist and support the journalist or maybe become an activist yourself again. Um, so that is, I think, um, what we should keep in mind and should continue to fight for and together and work together and hopefully uh, create uh, the same conditions all over the world that we enjoy here in the Netherlands. So thank you.